India can feed across the globe. We have that much of potential of this technology. Root, yeah, oh, beautiful. I've never touched a root before for some reason. What happens to the farmers then? Because now everybody becomes a farmer. India will awake to life and freedom. When you think cricket, you think Sachin Tendulkar. When you think football, you think of Lionel Messi. When you think of traffic, Bangalore is a cliche. No, Garden City has become Pardon City because the water table since 1997 has shrunk drastically. And at the rate at which we are going, we might just run out of food and water. But today, I have a solution which I think is absolutely wonderful. Let me introduce you to Bullies Farming. small small clusters and make it viable every home we are envisioning rooftop farm yeah every rooftop in future have to be a farm so like essentially my apartment then i have a farm so sharma auntie is picking tomatoes balla uncle is picking potatoes exactly so everybody is becoming self sufficient water is mixed with nutrients and directly sprayed on the roots in their enclosed chambers 24/7 all of this is regulated and surveilled. What is the complete solution that Wooly Farming brings to the table? Wooly is a social enterprise. Okay. We are focusing on building better society and better planet. Basically, in developing countries, around 2 lakh people dies each year due to pesticide poisoning. So, growing own food is a, one of the best solutions to get fresh food and without disturbing the nature. Right. So, we want to distribute the capex into multiple like small, small clusters and make it viable. Unlike regular farming, aeroponic farming is not dependent on the climate cycle, which essentially means the yield can be 12 times that of regular farming. So, Nitin, how is this technology going to change farming in India? So, we are mainly focusing on two technologies basically. One is distributed ledger and predictive analytics. Just went above the head, but continue. So, distributed ledger, we are tracking all the data coming in the farms like a network database and yeah. predictive analytics we are using for growth analytics. In the platform, what we are collecting is uh, the thermal cameras we have and 24 bars when we are taking the data out from the plant farms. Like, based on the color change, we can identify what's the nutrition deficiency in the roots. Plants uh, show the nutrition deficiency, everything based on the color. So, uh, what you do is essentially you are tracking the plant, you're like stalking the plant. Yep, every day. And uh, helping the grower in their community what to do in the farm. So, Mother Nature is being watched by Mother Server. Believe this or not, aeroponic farming gives us 5 to 20 times the yield of normal farming. If a crop normally takes 90 to 120 days, Aeroponic farming will do it in 70 days. Say there's someone like me who's watching this right now uh, and he just wants to understand Woolies farming. If you have a terrace, you can install uh, Woolly farms on your rooftop and if you don't have a terrace, you can install our kitchen garden in your balconies or kitchen. Right. And uh, yeah, you can eat fresh vegetables. Oh wow. So good man. Yeah. So, this is a huh. mini farm. Like growing in this unit is really difficult because in yeah. balconies we don't get that much of light. Yeah. So, we grow plants in rooftops. So, you have a set list of plants. Then okay. you can order it. Yeah. It's a live lettuce, live yeah. plants. Yeah. Uh, we grow in our rooftops. Wow. And we deliver you uh, like this with a pot with nutrition water inside. 
So this is the root. Root, yeah. Oh, beautiful. I've never touched a root before for some reason. Okay. So and yeah. you can keep in this unit uh, for more one more week. Yeah. And you can whenever you need, you can pluck it and just eat, eat it. it. Yeah. Pluck it and eat. So I can't talk at the same time because of one thing. Okay. So you can order our plants, like whatever growing in your area. Do I call you? You can order. Oh, you have an app. The guys will come in our farms and harvest and deliver you. Farm to fork. The time of delivery is only five hours. That's about it. That's about it. The wow. freshness you won't get in anywhere in India. So what about the water? It's around fifteen uh, percentage of water only. Like okay. in traditional agriculture, it's around uh, if it is hundred percentage. Yeah. In our system, it's only fifteen percentage. If conventional farming uses hundred thousand liters of water, aeroponic farming uses only six thousand, which is incredible because at some point we may run out of water. No, everybody is doing hundred years back farming. Yeah, it's not sustainable, and the water quality is really bad. Like you can't use those water because it's have really bad heavy metals, pesticides. Industrial waste and untreated sewage have rendered 50% of Bengaluru's groundwater to be unfit. So, what is the future? Are we all becoming farmers or what? So we have good sunlight, and if we can adopt India as a whole, we can adopt controlled animal farming. India can feed across the globe. We have wow. that much of potential of this technology. So, all Hindi era do, halle do. Under all the all right, there are kelsa all the madbe kali. Better say, that there is either na, this machine is madatte. City le land wale rala. Ah, this terke se rata. Terke se madhi kondo manega guanta tarkari matte yana na daily yana be kada na wo bad kombo do. City wale ke use agar shayi. Aye, bani cut mada na bani. Ilo tinna na. The methods new, but the tools are still useful. This. Is the greatest vegetable party I've ever had. No sickles, no plows, no bulls. Just you, your terrace, and bully farming. Think about it. This could be the healthy future. Home farming is the future.